Good, they've arrived. I also have something I wish to discuss with the Merchant Guild, but I'll wait for you to finish. The President fully appreciates your efforts and knows what you want to ask. He believes that continuing to upgrade the dock, a strategy that is not fundamentally different from that of the IPC, will only destroy the unique character of Arum Alley. Arum Alley is a place brimming with personality, from the delicious food to the cultural antiques. Everything is built around visiting tourists and local residents, and that's what makes it such a special place. Based on historical data, continued development of the shipping operations will turn the area into a giant warehouse. The more the shipping capacity is increased, the less attractions there will be for visitors. Such an outcome is unacceptable for the shopkeepers and community of Arum Alley. Uh, the historical data isn't my forte. You better be telling the truth! Hmm... Very well. I believe it's my turn to speak. The Skyfaring Commission has received a joint request from several merchants concerning the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. Mr. President, the merchants would like you to resign as the President of the Guild. There has come a day that the merchants of Aramali have betrayed me. I won't give up the vision I've built for Aramali, let alone step down from my duties. Is that the President speaking? It is not my intention to interfere with the Merchant Guild's affairs, but as an old friend, I would like to remind you that Aram Ali only exists in the present, not in the past. Madam Yukong, the present is always made from the past, is it not? I suggest that you make some concessions to appease the merchants. If you don't follow Ming Shi's plans for the dock, she will temporarily take over your position. Ming Shi, I would like to hear your thoughts. President, I hope you understand that I am in no way vying for power over Arum Ali. I have listened to the President's vision of prosperity since I was a child, and I want to work to achieve that vision. But currently, your ideas conflict with ours. I understand. I can accept Ming Shi temporarily taking over my duties. However, Ming Shi must make her decision public and win the approval of both myself and all the merchants. Since you have shown confidence, those terms should be acceptable to you. Yes. I'll do my best, President. You have to remember that even when you're acting in my place, a crisis is still imminent. You must earn at least the amount of the bidding deposit to even have a chance of thwarting off the IPC. Very well. Since the President has come to a decision, I will be in charge of calling a public meeting. Ming Shi, I have something for you. When you are all finished here, remember to come and see me. Madam Yu Kong is looking for us. Let's be on our way. <sighs> this president is kind of stubborn. Is there really no difference between our strategy and the IPC's? What kind of difference? You're saying that the IPC is in it for the IPC, but we just want what's best for our Mali. <laughs> but. The President wants what's best for Arum Alley, too, and yet we still disagree with him. The streets aren't owned by the Merchant Guild or the IPC, but by those who live here. I, I guess I don't have any special insights. I think... I think we should ask the merchants what they think. I heard from Shi Kue that it was you who became a business advisor and assisted Arm Ali Merchant Guild in their dispute with the IPC. <laughs> How versatile. Is there anything you can't do? I'm not very good at that either. The President is still a hero to Arm Ali. He helped it achieve prosperity. But a hero will not be embraced forever. I've seen the IPC's approach. 
They prioritize efficiency and a standard uniform business model across the galaxy. I warned them that their business model wouldn't work on the Xianzhou without adjustments. But the Merchant Guild's overly traditional mindset is a different obstacle. Let me put it bluntly. Arm Alley Merchant Guild has no chance of succeeding today. And yet, all of you now represent a third choice. Different from both the Merchant Guild and the IPC. My advice to you is to visit the shopkeeper, Mr. Xiao. He is the one who proposed the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. If you can get his support, you will definitely receive support from the other merchants. Thank you, Madam Yukong. I have business to attend to in the Palace of Astrum. The rest is up to you. Convince the old shopkeeper, and you may just become the new heroes of Aram Alley. Something fixed? We guarantee that your Ingenium will be good as new. Of course, if it's Outworlder technology, it'll depend on the world. Mr. Xiao, I'm Ming Shi, the secretary of the Merchant Guild. We're here to talk about. Ugh, forget it. I support the IPC. Can you tell us why? Please leave. I don't recall. Let's leave for now. Wait. Please wait a moment. It sounded like my father was being a little difficult. I'm Xiaohan. People around here call me Little Master. If I'm not mistaken, you're the ones who made Representative Scott apologize in public. You stood up for Aram Ali with reason and integrity. I'm thankful to you. May I ask why you wanted to speak with my father? We need the support of the merchants for the dock. And we wanted to see if your father could join us. Hadn't my father already refused? We heard that Mr. Xiao proposed to reorganize the Merchant Guild, and we wanted to ask why. I see. I'll help you figure something out. Great! Uh, your father is a very tough nut to crack. The older generation of craftsmen can be rather set in their ways. Here, how about this? Why not join my father's shop as apprentices? My father is stern on the surface, but if he sees a capable apprentice and a sincere heart, he'll change his attitude. Well, it's better to beg forgiveness than ask permission. Let's just start you out and see what he says. So, it's decided? Let's get moving then. Time to make you apprentices. Father. My friends from the Merchant Guild want to be your apprentices. I'll go ahead and show them the ropes. Nonsense. I, I never said I needed more hands. But even if I did want to hire more people, I couldn't afford them. Mm, you know that better than I do. I can cover their salaries. Come on, it'd be rude to turn them away. <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. A green hand like her won't be able to fix a thing. Plus, if she breaks our customer items in the process, it'll be us taking the blame. If that's what you're worried about, just give them a little training. Hmm. That sounds like a yes to me. Let's get on with the job, shall we? Here's something from one of our regulars. Show them what you can do. Hmm. 
Not bad. <sighs> no. <sighs> He's hard to impress. I'll find you some more work. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? Just a reminder, Father. Fair work for fair pay. Over here. See what you can do with this jade abacus. Don't just stand there, Father. Go teach your apprentice a thing or two. Fine, I, I give in. I know why you're here, just... Please stop tinkering with my customer's items. It's fine, just leave it as it is. Ask what you wanted to ask. See a lot of potential in the corporation's plan. But a certain old friend of mine lives in the past. Whatever vision he has, it won't come true. Yes, he's an old friend. An issue? It's less about issues and more about stubbornness. We walk a single path, do the same things, and talk to the same people for centuries. The mind can become insensitive to change. However, compared to the president, my stubbornness is nothing. Back in his day, our O'Malley was teeming with shuttling star skiffs and commercial aromatons. But then the law food departed again on the path of the hunt. Our business partners couldn't follow, so they stopped trading with us. The president does. He wants to bring the old times back. Shop owners like me know that's impossible. Therefore, I stand behind the IPC's plan. Our O'Malley will inevitably be replaced. But is your shop part of the future that the IPC promised? Uh, hard to say. Chances are I'll have to sell it. Not the easiest decision to make, but I won't regret it. The good days are behind us. We must accept that short life species will repurpose our lands and that night markets are destined to become shipping docks. We must come to terms with the fact that short life ambitions will reshape a world where things were thought to last forever. Mr. Xiao, why not try working with us? Ming Si is pushing for reforms within the guild. We are nothing like the president. Reforms? They made a lot of good points when arguing with the IPC at the dock. I do see possibilities for the guild to change. Um, given the state of the guild, my money is on the IPC winning. But since I've accepted the worst-case scenario, our O'Malley ceasing to exist, I can't see why it hurts to endorse your idea and see how far it takes us. Thank you. Now that you have joined our revival project, I'm sure many others will follow suit. Hmm. That's settled then. I'm curious to see what comes of your plan. Mr. Zhao is on board. His shop can be part of the logistics network we've been working on. The way? Hope things work out just as smoothly down the line. <laughs> 